classes to tremble on the people's hero the mvp m-a-r-s yeah you know me So Karl Marx is a German philosopher and economist. He lives from 1818 to 1883, spent uh, most of his youth in Germany uh, where he studied almost on the trajectory to become a university professor, but he was also a political radical, so he was always fleeing uh, governments that were trying to uh, chase off threats to their own uh, system of power. So uh, he migrates across Europe and eventually settles in, in London, England, which is uh, kind of his point of refuge. And it's also where he does most of his writing. So uh, across his career, he's primarily a pamphleteer interested in the condition of the working man. So he's a labor radical that's trying to devise uh, you know, a system of political thought uh, to basically better the condition of the working man. And this leads him to becoming a, a founding figure in the modern communist movement. Partners up with Frederick Engels, who's a, a fellow radical revolutionary from Germany that also migrates to England. Uh, Engels basically becomes his patron. He's from a, a wealthier family that has a, a manufacturing factory in Manchester. So he's able to use that as kind of a subsidy for Marx as the intellectual driver. And then over the course of his career, he produces several major works of, um, of labor theory, uh, anti-capitalist theory, uh, basic theory of socialism. So the two best known are the uh, Communist Manifesto, which is in 1848. It's a uh, co-authored work with Engels that basically tries to lay out a, uh, a groundwork uh, for executing a revolutionary socialist ascendant. And then uh, his more uh, academic -y intellectual work is, is Capital or Das Kapital, uh, which is published in German in 1867. And this becomes uh, more of the theoretical framework for the Marxist system. So he said, look, there's problems. There's the Industrial Revolution. Look at all these factories. It's awful. And there's poor people. And the problem is capitalism. The problem is the accumulation of wealth by certain rich people on the factories. And he said, the wealth is going to continue to go into the hands of a few people and they're going to get rich and richer at the expense of the poor people. So he proposed taking away the means of production away from the capitalists and workers of the world are then going to own everything. So we're going to throw off our chains, the slavery of this relationship with the capitalists. That was kind of this romantic message that a lot of people thought, wow, that's great. No more slavery. I mean, I don't even have to be having a boss anymore. We can be all working together. We can be cooperating. And it's this very appealing, seductive message that you can look around the world and say, oh, there's certain problems. Now I know the solution. Isn't this going to be great? Marx brings a kind of... Uh a millenarian vision uh, of the inevitable triumph of socialism over capitalism, which he saw as being essentially uns unsustainable. And that he imagined in his mind that there was going to be a new stage of history in which there is going to be this global revolt on the part of, of labor, and they were going to stand up uh, to capital, and there's going to be some uh, ap apocalyptic ending in which the exploited were going to turn on the exploiters. The expropriated would ex expropriate the expropriators and so on. So there would be this, this, this shift in history. And he inspired a lot of other socialists and socialist revolutions and communist governments. So because the Soviet Union kept his works in print for a long time, he's become a leading socialist thinker. So he had a lot of influence in the 20th century. And to this day, he is now the number one assigned author in American college campuses. The number one most assigned book is The Communist Manifesto by Karl Marx and uh, Engels. 150 years later, we're still talking about these things. And I would argue a lot of the policy debates that we're seeing out there, we think, oh, this is this new idea. Where'd somebody come up with this? It turns out a lot of these ideas are actually in there, straight out of Marx, in many cases, straight out of the Communist Manifesto. And a lot of people buy into it as if it's new, we haven't even discussed it, we haven't even debated it. 
and he is having tremendous influence throughout the centuries.